Okay, so Ido, um, this is your first time in a fox bat. Um, how did you feel about it? Brilliant, it's brilliant. It's almost like you're floating in the air. Uh, the wing loading is, uh, you just, you're overwhelmed with how slow and, and stable you feel. So even when you go to those 40 knots and uh, with two stages of flap, you have full control on the aileron. Rudder is effective and you can fly there all day. Uh, there's no sense that the airplane is going to buff it and, uh, and wing drop on you. Um, but it's incredible. Uh, a couple of hours uh, of transition and, and you can get it into a very, very short paddock. Easy. Okay, tell, tell me a little bit about um, what you'd heard about the Foxbat first. You, you, you knew about it when, you, uh, when I met you. Yeah, well, I've, I've obviously seen the YouTube videos uh, that you produced, and I've also seen a video of someone taking off in less than 10 meters. Uh, someone, high wind, but it was exceptional. I couldn't believe that he does that uh, with 100 horsepower. Um, so I knew that there's airplanes uh, Fox bet flying around in Australia, and I thought I'll, uh, I'll have to give him a call. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just tell us a little bit about what you do in the real world. Uh, in the real world, I uh, I try to combine model flying and full size flying. So I'm a, I'm a in flight instructor, and uh, for a hobby, I'm, a, I'm basically a professional hobbyist. I fly radio control airplanes uh, for few manufacturers. I test products for them. And I also fly drones, so UAVs, as you probably know about, and take uh, take photography and cinema uh, videos of, uh, of all kind of uh, objects. Very good. Now, tell me, um, going back to um, the fun aspect of flying, what is it about the Foxbat you think that um, separates it from many other aeroplanes? To start with, there's more window than there's an aeroplane. Uh, it's all open, you feel like you're flying in a, in a Schweitzer helicopter or a Hughes or something like that. It's, everything is open. Uh, the instruments are only the one that you really have to be, to be legal. Uh, and that's the way it should be. Uh, it's really an airplane that you fly in the, in the, on the seat and on your tail. Uh, you know if the ball is skidding or moving just by feeling it. You don't need to look at anything else. Uh, the visual cues that the airplane provide is, uh, is incredible and it makes for a very different uh, environment to fly in than the average general aviation. Uh, I would totally recommend that to fly that airplane, especially for, for anyone that wants to fly for recreational purposes. Um, I wouldn't look any, anywhere else, to be honest. What a recommendation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you're quite a long uh, guy. I mean, you're probably uh, over two meters. Mm. Uh, <laughs> do you find yeah. it a bit cramped? Well, to be honest, at first it was just awkward to go to a, an airplane that is smaller by size, but it was just fine. I had enough leg room and uh, I wasn't cramped on the pedals and uh, my hand was very rested on the side yoke in this configuration. It was fine. It, it was really good. I had enough uh, headroom um, to spare. couldn't even have a, a proper hat on me and still have uh, plenty of room. It was good, good enough, definitely. Okay, thank you. Not a problem. <laughs>